Thank you for your patience that we made one last change. The group you see behind me is the Wind Symphony, uh, and we've put together what I think is an exciting and eclectic uh, program, and certainly one of the more challenging programs that I've attempted on a fall concert. Normally we save the really hard stuff towards the end, uh, but they've handled this really well. We're going to begin with a, a super fun piece called Ride. As the title suggests, uh, it's a lot of fast, loud notes. Uh, the story is kind of cool. Uh, Sam Hazo talks about befriending another famous composer before he was really a famous composer, and he found himself at this conference presenting on composition with him, and as his wife described, it was you and a bunch of famous people, is the way his wife described it, we all know how that goes. And uh, so he's, he's at this cool event with all these famous composers, and he, he got invited, and then afterwards, his, his buddy says, let's all go back to my house in this kind of rural Pennsylvania area, and uh, show of hands, who grew up in rural America, rural America, yeah, like curvy roads, and right? And so he said he wrote this piece in his head in the 15 minutes it took while he was following his friend on these roads. He's never driven. I grew up in country roads. In fact, my good friend Chris is here from Michigan. Uh, we grew up rural Michigan, and still when I go home to visit, my wife is white knuckling the dashboard, you know, because I'm like, I grew up on these roads. No big deal, right? So that's kind of the experience that's happening as this piece is, is going on. You'll kind of hopefully get visions of that. They, everybody arrived safely and, and great food was eaten, so it was a, a wonderful evening. So we'll begin our program with Ride.
All right, as Mr. Schultz mentioned earlier, one of the things we try to do uh, is program a ballot. Uh, I, I usually like to do it early in the season to kind of get them thinking about their more sensitive side a little bit, especially a lot of times we're in the midst of marching season where we're playing very loud all the time. Uh, it's kind of a different skill set to be able to play soft and in tune and in balance, as Mr. Schultz was talking about earlier. So this is our ballot. Uh, it's just a, a beautiful piece. Um, by Leonard Bernstein, who's a very, very famous composer, and uh, did a lot of stuff for orchestra, and this is a transcription of one of those pieces. So, um, as the title suggests, uh, a simple song, although sometimes those simple songs are a little trickier than uh, you might imagine. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, before we finish uh, our final piece, just a few thank yous. Um, first, as I say every time that we get together, we are so fortunate here in Hilliard um, to have an administration from the top down who really values what these students do. Um, and it's not just in words, it's in deeds. Um, I see them here all the time. I saw Superintendent Stewart tonight, he was here. And um, I, I'm just, I feel so lucky to know that um, we're surrounded by people who, who really uh, uh, value what we do. And so I want to thank uh, Principal Raglan, the entire administrative team here, Mark Scholl, uh, our fine arts coordinator, uh, and then everybody in central office uh, from Mr. Stewart on down. A big thank you to all our administration. I also want to take, thank our tech crew. Uh, the first, I don't know, 13, 14 years that uh, I taught here, we had to do all the techie stuff ourselves, and uh, the last couple years we've had students stepping up to do that. So just a big thank you to our tech crew in the back. Thank you guys. Um, and then, obviously, students, we weren't be, wouldn't be here without your parents, okay? The ones who suffered through those early years of hot cross buns and all of those moments, okay? Um, and uh, it paid for those private lessons, you know, took you to and from, and all of those various things. So students, let's help thank all our parents, please. And then, of course, the reason we're here is to celebrate these outstanding students. And uh, whether they're on stage or currently in the audience, I couldn't be more proud. And I know I speak for myself and the entire uh, faculty here. Um, it's just so exciting to kind of see these guys develop from year to year to year. And every time we get on stage, they raise the bar a little bit. So big hand for all of the performers tonight. Our final piece is one that's been on my list for many years. Um, uh, it was done here maybe 12 or 13 years ago when I was the assistant. I always put in the back of my mind, someday we're going to do this piece. Uh, it's absolutely um, fantastic. If you didn't get a, a program, I noticed we did run out, so I apologize about that. Um, this is really the first time I've ever put program notes, I think, in a program, but I think it was important for this piece. Um, and the composer does just an amazing job of really working through that tension between, as he describes, kind of good and evil, or light and dark, and the tension that that, that creates. And in this piece, you're going to hear um, you're going to hear beautiful light moments. You're going to hear some really dark moments, and then you're going to hear that tension. There's moments you're going to go, I don't quite know what's going on, and a lot of times it's that light, and then you kind of hear the darkness sneaking its way in, and it will overtake for a while. But as the composer says, uh, you know light always returns and so uh, it's been a, a real joy to put this piece together and I'm super proud of the maturity with which this group has handled it so uh, it is a bit of a lengthy piece um, but I think you'll enjoy every minute of it so I invite you to sit back um, and enjoy Angels in the Architecture.
right, thank you again for coming tonight, for accompanying us along our musical journeys here with our various ensembles, and uh, we look forward to seeing you after Thanksgiving at the Hand Shoe Scholarship Recital. Thank you so much.